to the Church of Restoration, a place where people are restored and Jesus is Lord. We are so thankful to the Lord for another service that we can come and give God thanks and praise and glory for carrying us through this week. Amen. Trials, tribulations, good times, bad times, but He remains the King of all kings and the Lord of all lords. So as my husband ministers a very powerful, profound word this morning, I pray that that word of God will take root in your life this morning and things will never be the same again. Let us pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you for your word this morning. We thank you for every person watching the word of God this morning, watching Facebook, watching YouTube, everyone in the auditorium where they're watching from God, I pray that you will come and bless 
bless us this morning. Even the praise and the worship, Father God, help us to give thanks and praise and glory to you, O God. And Father, the word this morning, we pray that we will receive it, Father God, and it will take root in our lives and manifest, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Enjoy the service with us. Caesarea Philippi 
he asked his disciples, saying, Who do men say I am? The Son of Man? Who do, who do, sorry, who do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? And they said, Some say thou art John the Baptist. Some say you are Elijah. Others say you are Jeremiah. One of the prophets. He says unto them, But who do you say I am? Say, I am. I am. Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ. Say, the Christ. Yes. The Son of the living God. Say, the Son of the living God. Yes. And Jesus answered unto and Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon bar Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed it unto thee, but my Father who is in heaven. I say also unto thee, Thou art Peter. Upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Then charged he his disciples that they should tell no man that he was Jesus the Christ. I would like to just uh, talk to you a little bit about the importance of the church of Jesus Christ and the, the wonderful um, privilege we have to be part of the church of the Lord Jesus. The belangrijkheid van die kerk en die wonderlijke geleentheid wat ons het om deel te wees van die kerk van die Heer Jesus Christus. When Jesus promised to build his church, Jesus was making a pledge to bring a group of people together. When Jesus said, I will build my church, he was making a commitment to bring people together. Love him, people that will respect him, people that will obey him, people that will submit to him, people that will be excited about him. He said, Peter, you're going to be the first person whom I'm going to change. You see something, Jesus was speaking to Peter and he was saying Peter I want to make you part of the church you're going to be the first person stone I'm going to use to build you know when you build a building you need stones you need material and Jesus said Peter you're going to be my first piece of material I'm going to use to build my church. But before I can use you, I must change you. And so Jesus said to Peter, Peter, you are now a reed. You are flaky. You are uh, two minded. You are um, uncommitted. But he says, Peter, I'm going to change you. And I'm going to make you a rock. Say a rock. You know that rock? Is it in the in the in the, the rock? You know the rock? What's his name? Dwayne something? Eh? Dwayne John Dwayne Johnson? Eh? When you talk about the rock, you, you check at muscles and you you check the abs, you you, you you look at strength. Now I don't know how he was before, but it's 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 the gym probably made him like that. Probably his trainer turned him 
from someone that was perhaps overweight into this sculpture uh, machine that can, you know, smash the, with his fist through walls. And so that's what God, God, Jesus said to Peter. Peter, you are a flaky guy. And uh, you are someone that is a bit diamaka. Uh, 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 you sometimes don't think logically. But I'm going to take you and I'm going to change you. Say change. And then I'm going to use you in the process to build my church. Hallelujah. And uh, 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 Jesus uses people. You know, you've got a building here, and so you have bricks, and you have windows, and you have a roof, and you have carpets. You need to use that stuff uh, to build the building. And when it don't fit, you need to cut it. You need to shape it so that you can get the end result that you have uh, uh, a plan or you have a vision for or the architect has sketched out and Jesus had the vision of a church a powerful church Jesus vision was that the church uh, should be able to withstand the devil hallelujah say withstand I say withstand when you build a building then the building is built so that it can withstand the elements of the uh, weather and the wind and the rain and the heat and so when Jesus was talking to Peter and said I'm going to build my church to withstand say withstand then Jesus was thinking about a, a structure that will withstand not only the wind and the, the, the rain and the effects, but Jesus was talking about the structure that will withstand every plan and every strategy that Satan has. Hallelujah. Jesus was talking about the church that can stand against sickness. Hallelujah. Jesus was talking about the church that can stand against alcohol. Jesus was talking about the church that can stand against drug abuse. Jesus was talking about the church that can stand against marriages that is crumbling. Jesus was talking about the church that can stand against families that is being shattered by the devil. Jesus was talking about the church that can stand against poverty and disease and sickness. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a mighty hand of prayer. <laughs> Glory to God. So when Jesus says, I am building my church to stand against the gates of hell. Jesus says, there's no, I was looking at this thing. Hell is a place, uh, the habitation of the demon legions of satanic forces. And Jesus said, my church will stand against every legion, demon force, hallelujah, hallelujah. Everything that Satan has, my church will stand against it and progress and prosper in my mighty name. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a mighty hand of praise. And Jesus said, I need material. You need, you know, when you want to build a strong structure, you need material. You need strong material. And Jesus made a, a pact. Hallelujah. Jesus said, I will pay so that the material can be the right material. I will pay so that the material can be purchased. Hallelujah. And Jesus, when he spoke these words to Peter, he was thinking of me. He was thinking of
of you. He's seen me in my sins and he's seen you in, his, in your sins. And Jesus, he said, Peter, I'm going to make it. I'm going to pay this price. I'm going to do it all. Hallelujah. And Jesus went to the cross and he paid the price so that Peter can be changed from a reed. Hallelujah. From a weakling into a, a mighty soldier of the Lord. And not only did Jesus pay for Peter, but he paid for me that I could be transformed. And he paid for you. He paid for every sinner. He paid for every gangster. He paid for every drug addict. He paid for every alcoholic. He paid so that we can be washed in the blood of Jesus, cleansed by his mighty power, and be used for his service. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a mighty hand of praise. Jesus never died for bricks and mortar. Jesus never died for roof structures. Jesus never died. I don't know why people put all the emphasis on buildings and names and organizations and institutions and technology. Thank God for that. But Jesus died for every human being upon the face of the earth so that we can be changed and transformed and be used to build the mighty church of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a mighty hand of praise. Let's give God praise. Father, say, Father, I thank you. You've called me into your church. You've paid the price. You've washed me in your blood. You've sanctified me so that I can take my place, Lord. I'm ready, Father God. I'm ready, Lord. Take me in your hands. Use me for your purpose. I will see the glory of God because I'm part of a mighty move of God and nothing can that can't. That's fine. Everyone else stand. Raise up your hand. If you need anything, I'm going to stop the service here now. Jesus wants to touch you and heal you and do miracles. Jesus wants to do it right now. Put your hand in the air if you need a miracle from God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And so we're going to pray and say, Father, I believe in miracles. You are a miracle working God. Like you changed Peter. You can change my circumstances. You can change my circumstances. I bring my circumstances before you today. I lay it on your altar, Lord. You have paid the price, my God. You have paid the price, my God. So that I can have victory this morning. And in the name of Jesus, I take the victory now. I receive the victory now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Now, stay like that. Stay like that. Stay like that. Then Jesus said to Peter, Peter, whatsoever you shall bind on this earth, I will bind it in heaven. Whatsoever you shall loose on this earth, I shall loose it in heaven. You see, the key to that activity is the church. If you don't link yourself into the church and the body of Christ, you cannot get everything that God spoke about. Because Jesus intended to build a structure to resource us as his children. Hallelujah. Now raise your hands, hold someone's hand next to you, hold someone's hand next to you, as we just link in together in Jesus' name. If you're still halfway in the church, then get right into the church. If you're still halfway in, should I, shouldn't I, then make up your mind right now. Because the church, Jesus said, Peter, I'm going to build my church and I'm going to put some authority in the church. And when two of you shall agree as touching anything on this earth, it will be done in heaven. Let's close our eyes. I'm going to pray a prayer of agreement now. Father, we are more than two and three. And we have laid our 
challenge and our request for miracles before you. Some miracles of healing, some miracles of emotional change, some miracles of spiritual restoration, some miracles of financial abundance and breakthrough, some miracles, Father God, of a supernatural intervention in a family, in children, in marriages, in Jesus' name, in communities. But now we stand before you on the same authority that you gave to Peter. You said whatever we bind on this earth shall be bound. And in the name of Jesus, I bind all those foul spirits of sickness, disease, of lack, of poverty, of financial decline. I bind you in the name of Jesus. Every sickness, I bind you in the mighty name of Jesus. Every discord, I bind you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. And I loose upon us healing, help. I loose upon us prosperity, financial breakthrough. I loose upon us open doors for jobs and contracts. I loose upon us ministry gifts. Hallelujah. I loose upon us obedience to do the work of God. I loose upon us, Lord God, family favor, marital favor, child favor, home favor. In the mighty name of Jesus, I loose upon this church a mighty dilute of the flood of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. That will touch people from the north to the south, to the east, to the west by the mighty power of almighty God. I loose upon every program, ladies, youth, men's program, uh, leaders program. I loose the blessing of God. I loose it upon this place, this whole area, this whole property. I loose the mighty power of God to come and move in Jesus' name. And every curse is broken and reversed now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I thank you in anticipation and Lord Jesus, I know that you have paid the price for all of these requests in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Give the Lord another mighty hand of praise. Hallelujah. I say give the Lord a mighty hand and give a shout to Jesus. Hallelujah. What a powerful word from God. And we believe that that word is going to take root in your life and do mighty miracles in your home and in your workplace and everywhere that you go. And if you need some prayer today, please feel free to contact the telephone number appearing on your screen. We are there for you. You don't have to be a member of our church. We are opening up our lines. If you need some prayer, please feel free to contact us. We've got some counselors that are standing by on the line to answer the call as well. If you'd also like to get involved in our missions programs, please feel free to contact the other telephone number appearing on the screen and get involved with us. Give us a call. Uh, just say hi. Uh, connect with us so that we can do even a greater work for the kingdom of God. God bless you. We love you. And we hope to see you next week again in Jesus' mighty name. Let's receive the benediction of God. Now may the grace of God, the love of Jesus Christ, and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit remain with each one of us until we meet again in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you.